Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, Fitness Management and Consulting, and welcome to our channel today. I appreciate y'all being here. And if you're new to the channel, if you're finding us for that very first time, you know, welcome as well. It's good to have you. And our topic today is going to be five actionable ways to improve your member experience. Five actionable ways to improve your member experience. Now, before we get into our topic, uh, a quick reminder to all that my focus, uh, my mission here in the channel, is I want to be able to provide as much information as I can to as many people as I can, you know, all across the globe. And the best way I can do that is when you choose to subscribe to the channel, when you choose to like the videos, uh, when you choose to offer comments, which we appreciate your feedback, and then when you also when you choose to share the information. So if you've not yet done so, please hit that subscribe button. We appreciate it. And if you've already done that, thank you for doing that. And then uh, for additional ways, you can learn more about me and my company and how we can help take your business to that next level. You know, be sure to check out those links below. And then if you want to support the channel, uh, you can, you know, hit that thank you, hit, hit that thank you button. Um, or you can choose to become a channel member, click that join button, which will give you access to additional information on how to grow and develop your business. And so with that said, let's get into our topic, uh, five actionable ways. Uh, to improve your member experience. And so the reminder here is the member experience, it directly correlates to your attrition. And one of the things that I see over and over and over, attrition rates 3%, 4%, 5%, 6% every month. And many clubs don't even know what they are. That's probably even worse because how do you fix something if you don't know what it is? And you know, even at a 4%, attrition each month, you're losing about half your member base. I mean, what happens if you can cut that number in half? What happens to your business all of a sudden? Okay. I mean, there's no acquisition cost here. Okay. It's not like having to, you know, uh, run marketing, you know, make a sale, you know, onboard a new person. There's not a lot of cost here to keep somebody. So we want to work on keeping them. And the key is ultimately it's going to be that member experience. So I want to give you five actionable ways to improve the member experience in your gym. And so number one, focus on taking action. Here's what I mean. We can't just talk about it. We can't just talk about it. Focus on taking action. Okay. I mean, you might say, Hey, we're going to, we're going to make it a point to have a conversation with every single person that walks in today. No one's going to walk into this gym without us having a conversation with them. That's pretty simple. Okay. And here's why I say that. Okay. Because the, the data tells us like if we're doing follow up, okay, and I'm going to follow up with a member that has become inactive, any kind of interaction, any interaction with that, that, that member that has become inactive, they are now 20% more likely to come back in. Pretty powerful stuff. Okay. And just one interaction and they're 20% more likely to come back in. So think about it. You know, what, what kind of, uh, what kind of impact can we have if we do a better job when people are walking in that front door? So think about that one. But the key here is take action. Okay. Don't wait to be perfect. You know, I always, my definition of being perfect or trying to be perfect, it's more like sophisticated procrastination. Okay. You know, go for it. Don't wait to be perfect. Take action, take action now, because there's an awful lot of things that we can do. Okay. Um, number two on actionable ways to improve your member experience is measure progress by the rate of improvement. Measure progress by the rate of improvement. And so in other words, track your numbers, you know, track your numbers, you know, every month, this is the first one for not doing it every month. What is our attrition percentage? Every month, what is it? Okay, let's start tracking it. Okay, maybe start tracking member usage. Okay, you know, what kind of usage are we getting? Maybe start tracking our inactive members. And every month, you know, every, every day, we're pulling an inactive list and we're making phone calls and putting them into a CRM. You know, maybe we're tracking our new member signups because we know that our new members that use the gym. 20 times first 60 days, statistically speaking, these are the ones that are going to stay with us the longest. Okay. So we're going to track it. So track your numbers, measure your progress by the rate of improvement. Okay. Because what you want to learn to do is the same thing we talk about in sales all the time. We want to manage based on these objectives. 
okay? Um, number three, okay? Interpret your, your key measurement numbers, okay? And we're talking about, you know, know your numbers. You know, know your numbers. Know where you're at on all of this. You know, for example, how many of your customers purchase more than just a membership? It's one of the key things you want to look at, you know, for retention, because customers that buy more in your club are going to stay with you longer. That's what the data is going to tell us, okay? So know your numbers. How many are on PT? What is your personal training penetration rate if you have that? How many buy supplements? You know, how many are buying retail? You know, one of the things that, again, the data tells us is that of all your customers, 20% of them, at least, will spend more money if we simply ask. Okay, but know your numbers. Okay, you, you can't make decisions without knowing that. Okay, now number four, this one's a big one because we're talking about you know actionable ways um, to improve your member experience, and the reality is everything that we do is retention. Everything we do ties into it, and so number four on my list, it's all about inspiring your team to take action. It's all about inspiring your team to take action. You know, one of the ways that I kind of define what we do, define management, okay, is we want to create an atmosphere that allows a motivated person to act. Okay, we want to create an atmosphere that allows a motivated person to act. So it's all about inspiring the team to take action. And so many clubs, we, just, we don't do this when it comes to retention. And I know I was on a, um, I was doing a webinar one time. We had quite a few folks. We probably had a hundred folks maybe on this. And it was a, a big name, a name you know, okay? And one of the poll questions was, do you have a retention strategy? And not one group did. No one had a real strategy for this. And what I want to suggest you do, you give retention the same level of importance that you do membership sales. Yeah, yes, we want to drive you know, new, new enrollments, but we also want to keep what we have, okay? And we want to have strategies for this. Treat it as one and one A. Get them right there, right there together. Because the better job we can do with this, it'll take some of the pressure off of, um, of new sales. And in some cases, you might even find you can lower your marketing costs because we're doing such a good job of keeping who we have. But train people how to do this. Just like I hope we're having regular training on sales, have regular training on how we interact and how we work with our customers. You know, one, one of the, uh, the really good books out there is an older book uh, called the, the Nordstrom Way. And, uh, you know, one of the things they talk about in that book is how they empower their employees to satisfy the customer. Now they had certain limits, right? But you know, how they empower their staff to satisfy customers. But make sure that we are, we're putting our staff in a position to have success. We want to inspire them to create that member experience to keep the folks wanting to come back. Because there's not a person on the planet doesn't want to look better, doesn't want to live better, doesn't want doesn't want to um, doesn't want to live longer. Okay, and we know that. And they come in, they want to accomplish all this, and then they don't, so they leave. Okay, you know, let's let's create that environment that makes them want to stay. And then number five that uh, is important here is five actionable ways to improve your member experience is social media reviews. You know, one of the things you want to do, you want to create this wow experience, this wow experience. What a great place, you know, what a great culture. You know, hey, I've never stuck with a program before. I've never got results before, but I have here. But, you know, work on getting reviews. And when you're doing all this, you know, keep in mind that one of the key rules you want to follow here is we want to be easy to do business with. And so one of the first things I would do is I would send out a link, a one-click link that takes your customer straight to where they need to be. No double-clicking or everything else. One link, one click, okay? And hey, you've been with the club for quite some time. If you're, you're, you know, you've gotten some great results. Hey, if you'd if you like to li li leave a uh, review, you know, here's a link for it, okay? Give them that link. But send it out to your best customers. You know, a lot of times I'll include those kind of things like in a new member welcome letter. That new member, they're excited, they're here. Hey, give us a review. You just got started, you know, tell us how your experience was, okay? So social media reviews. So five actionable ways. And what I want to suggest to you, and you can start off, you know, small if you have to, start with wherever you're at, but I hope you have a, someone who's in charge of membership sales. Put somebody in charge of retention. 
I like to call them the club concierge, okay? And because what their job is, we want to satisfy the needs of our members. We want to create the, the best environment we can, our club concierge. And this can include everything I'm talking about here. It can include, you know, all your tracking. It can include, you know, processes from, you know, the opening person, you know, pulling uh, inactive reports. It could be onboarding of new members. It could be events. It could be becoming that destination location. There's a lot that can go into this, but get that club concierge. Okay. And just like you don't want your salesperson doing lots of other things because you get a diluted sales effort, be careful of having that retention person or that club concierge doing lots of other things because you'll get that diluted uh, result as well. So take a look at this. This is one of the best things you can do that doesn't really have to cost you a lot. We just have to take the time to do it, but it can have a dramatic impact on the bottom line of your business. So folks, appreciate you watching. Again, my name is Jim Thomas. My company is Fitness Management and Consulting. And uh, just a quick reminder, you know, my focus here, you know, I want to be able to deliver as much information as I can to as many people as I can, you know, across all regions of the planet. And the best way I can do that is when you choose to subscribe, you choose to hit that like button, you choose to uh, offer comments, which we appreciate, and when you choose to share the information. So if you've not yet done so, now's a great time to do it. Hit that subscribe button. And then to learn more about me, learn more about my company and how I can help take your business to that next level, check out those links below. And uh, if you choose to, to support the channel, uh, just hit that thank you button. Uh, consider becoming a member, channel member. You can hit that join button. And um, you'll receive also additional information uh, on how you can grow and develop your business. And we look forward to seeing you all in that next video.